BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross at BBC Sport and Mo Salah has taken part in training with Liverpool ahead of Tuesday's Champions League quarter-final second leg against Manchester City. Manager Jurgen Klopp says they'll make a late decision on his fitness ahead of the game. At five o'clock we train at Melbourne and then we see if he's um, if he can be part of the training. I'd say rather yes than no. But um, we have to see, then we have to wait about, uh, for the reaction until tomorrow and then we'll make a decision. Salah missed Saturday's Merseyside derby with a groin injury. City, of course, have it all to do. They trail 3-0, but boss Pep Guardiola says the club will win the Champions League, if not this season, then soon. Sooner or later that is going to happen, maybe not tomorrow, but what this club have done in the last 10 years... In terms of, of, of create that amazing facilities, of course, with a lot of investment, but a lot of people working here with desire to make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Sooner or later, that is going to happen. And following last week's attack on the city bus at Anfield, police have confirmed there'll be an increased presence around the Etihad Stadium and in Manchester City Centre. West Brom have failed in an attempt to introduce safe standing at their stadium next season after the British government rejected its application. The man who led the campaign for the club, director of operations Mark Miles, says he's surprised and disappointed by the decision. Football now is 25 years on since the all-seater policy that came in and football is a very different place than it was then. And people, whether we agree with it or disagree with it, supporters are choosing to stand at football, home and away supporters. So the, what we have to try and do is control that. And the best way that I believe we can do that is by installing the rail seating. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football.